Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce myself, who I am, what I'm doing in Montenegro, in Serbia, in Balkan region, as an expat, but also as a citizen, because I have different uh, passports, so let's go for this. Hello everybody, uh, on this video I will introduce the, the channel YouTube, um, and also I will introduce myself, uh, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Nikola Kunic and um, I'm living in Montenegro. I will speak about Montenegro as a life destination. I will share you content about Montenegro, about real estate, about people, about nature. And as you can um, you can hear, I'm not an, an excellent English speaker. I, I was born in France in the 90s and uh, I'm, I have big French accent, so it will be Maybe sometimes a little. You you will have maybe some some difficulties to 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 understand me sometimes. But uh, I think anyway that we can we can have a good communication uh, on on the channel and uh, by 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 email uh, without problem. I think. But uh, to introduce myself, I have family everywhere in Europe uh, in UK. Uh, in France, in Serbia, in Montenegro, in Croatia, in in uh, Spain, uh, in Germany. So uh, uh, I, I, we we are we are uh, an expat family. Uh, uh, my mother is French, but my father was from Yugoslavia, uh, and uh, he came back also to live here uh, after uh, the difficulties we had uh, in France during the COVID time and um, we make this decision to, to, to start new life uh, and to come back uh, in, uh, in Montenegro, but not only in Montenegro, but also in Serbia. I have a few companies here um, uh, regarding uh, different activities uh, with a special uh, immigration service as immigration services for 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 strangers uh, to uh, make possible to live here uh, and also to have uh, economic activities. Uh, so I I do it for for years now, uh, and most of my my customer was French people uh, because I wrote a book a few years ago in French, the first book about Montenegro in French, uh, in history of the country, uh, that, that was the, f the first book, and um, to speak about uh, the tax system, the, the opportunity about real estate, uh, about the culture uh, of the country, the people, uh, the nature, the, the future of the country um, in Europe and uh, uh, also in competition with other uh, with other destination, uh, life destination uh, as country. So yes, Montenegro is definitely a country where you can find, I think, the more liberty uh, you, you you can, if we compare all developed countries, all um, uh, Western countries, I mean, France, UK, uh, Germany, USA, uh, many developed countries uh, are really hard to live now because um, we are at the end of a system. I, I, I'm talking about economic system for these countries. Uh, that's the main problem. And uh, governments, they, they try to hide this uh, economic uh, difficulties with different subjects like they did with with the COVID, they did with the war in Ukraine, uh, and they did with other um, uh, uh, other uh, subject like, uh, for example, the inflation. They they created a big inflation, but this is to hide the biggest problem that economic uh, economic situation is not good. Uh, because of uh, the, the, the system, for example, to pay pension to people, uh, the, the, the social security system. So that, that, that was a system that 
was the, the, the possibility to 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 work good um, to to work good with uh, a good demographic situation with uh, with a growth rate uh, of four three five percent but not with uh, zero <laughs> or minus one or minus ten percent uh, so uh, all these countries they are difficulties they have big difficulties to, to tell to people but that's the end of the system you will not uh, you will not have uh, what you expect about money about uh, uh, about life uh, and uh, <clears throat> this is really a big problem so in Montenegro uh, and if we are talking about the Balkan region we have uh, the best growth rate in Europe for years now uh, we are talking about uh, three, four, five percent of growth rate uh, for years now. Uh, with, uh, for example, Serbia, uh, this is really impressive the progress of Serbia about the economy. And without economy, you can't do nothing. So, for me, Montenegro is the part of this growth rate. Uh, you can check numbers on internet uh, about the last 10 years, you will see that we had uh, good numbers about the growth rate and also about the depth of the country. Uh, even we have, we had some difficulties with the COVID because as all tourist destinations, we had this big problem about the economy, but we recovery really fast uh, if we compare to other countries. Uh, so it's really impressive. The, we had like a depth of I think like something like 95% of GDP so some some something really impressive and uh, only two years later we are about 70% uh, 73 74 and we are going less and less and in with um, <clears throat> for example another example but French uh, which which I, I think French many, many many people they call it the rich country uh, we are about 130 percent of debt about GDP, you know. So this this is really an example. Uh, I don't talk about Greece with two uh, 230 percent, and Italia. Uh, I think Italia this is about one 180 percent. So that's not the point on this video, but that just to introduce you uh, my vision. Uh, to introduce myself about uh, my my vision of Montenegro and uh, the perspective we have here to live, but I'm here mainly for 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 the liberty we have here every day, and for me it's something we can call like luxury life. We can call it like luxury life because liberty is now for rich people. Uh, if you if you if you analyze the situation in UK or in France or in Germany uh, with the cost of the life uh, and in Montenegro we have this chance to 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 have a life really cheaper. Uh, I was with a, a Canadian uh, guy a few weeks ago. He told me like in Canada, in Toronto, he spends. Uh, I think twenty thousand dollars for only three months, just uh, to go to you know supermarket, hypermarket, but just to to buy food, you know, and what you need to live, you know, so just the basic things, uh, the basic things, and and uh, in Montenegro with twenty thousand uh, dollars you can live like, I mean, it depends three or five years you know so this i call it liberty you know so so it's really about uh the cost of life is really about something i mean so cheap you know so that's the point so i'm going to 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 share with you other videos about uh, montenegro about uh, economy about situation here and uh, yes, uh, you, you you will see that you, you you can have some some difficulties to understand me sometimes because 
of my French accent and I do some mistakes uh, some mistakes when I when I'm speaking of English but you know I'm speaking the, the local language I'm speaking French so I'm speaking two languages uh, and uh, it's not so easy to 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 use uh, I don't know five minutes later Serbian language uh, and two minutes later English language and to to switch like this it's not so easy so that's it uh, I let you know uh, what what what's next for 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 the next video I think I will talk about uh, yes the 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 lifestyle we have in Montenegro ciao